Okay, today I am going to try and install, get the light here, a different uh, Android version on the Hotwave because of the problem that I had before. So we're going to try that. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it, but there are several uh, systems that you can put on here after uh, not not normal Android versions, if you will. So there's a variety of those. But what I came up is why not try to install Android itself? Uh, this one ha comes with Android 11, so let me see if I can install, say, Android 13 on it. Now, I already um, clear everything on here. Well, I backed up what I had. And I was, let me see here. Okay, it was the, the other browser. Let me show you real quick. Yeah. So I was under, where did it go? I think it was Brave. Um, nope. Alright. It doesn't matter. I was under, uh, I want to say Lineage OS and a couple others. I think it might be on here. Oh, where did he go? Give me a second here. Anyways, I was looking for something to flash on there, and then it occurred to me, why not try to do a um, Android version, and then I found this Android flash tool, but you need to use the uh, Microsoft Edge in order to do it, because first, you need to download this driver, so we're already here, so let me see if I can do that. Let me pause this because I need to uh, read through this anyways. Alright, <clears throat> so I'm just reading through here. I'm in the uh, device manager and it's saying connect your device on here and right click on it like this and then it tells you to update the device uh, driver. So I go and click it. The best driver for your device is already installed. Windows has determined that the best driver for this device is already installed. Every better device in Windows Update or on the device manufacturer's website. So, that's already installed. Now, uh, doo -doo -doo. so that's already done. So what's next? Okay, so I got the tool here already installed, so let's go to that to continue using the Android Flash tool. Okay, now we're getting there. So this is done, so we don't need to do anything else on the driver's side. Uh, okay, to continually to continue using the Android Flash tool will grant access to your computer's ADB key in the pop-up if you don't see the pop-up. You can trigger it below. Computers ADB key. Check your browser. Okay, I don't see a pop up anywhere. Let me see. Okay, pop up. Uh, secure flash Android. Confirm. Allowed. The site is https forward slash forward slash secure dot flash dot android dot com forward slash confirm. So let's go ahead and do that because we want to do that. On Google Chrome, you should see a pop up blog message in the address bar where you can allow pop ups. If you do not see this, you can also select view information at the start of that is then select settings, pop ups. Allow finally reload this page and you should see the pop up. All right, let's go ahead and reload since I already allowed it. So we want to grant access to ADB keys. Let me see, am I recording that? Yep. Oh, let me turn it off so it's easier to see. And I have to do it with the external camera because um, 
I don't want anything running here while I do this. So, grant Andrew a flash tool to access a DB keys in order for it to communicate to connect the devices. Yes. Okay, manually add a new device. Okay, install Android, enable developer mode, follow the steps to enable USB debugging and OEM unlocking on your device. If your device is in the bootloader, you can skip this step. So let's go ahead and do that. So, I got my device. Everything is turned off for the uh, network. And I want to show you something. Let's see, we have system. This is running Android 11. So we're going to see if we can run a later Android version on it. <coughs> because I want to change that. So let me see. Okay, so in order to get to the development, I think it's about phone. So you have to click on the build number and then it goes into the development. Enter your device pin to continue. Okay, let me do that. That's just my pin. You are now a developer. So that's how you do that. Now where is that? Okay, then we'll develop their mode. Okay, so we have that on. Now let's get out of here. Okay, here we go. I got out and I got developer mode options. So what else do we need to do? Okay, let's follow these steps real quick. Enable. Okay, so here we need to on the developer developer mode options. We need to uh, what is this? Enable developer options. Enable USB debugging. So we gotta go look for USB debugging. USB debugging. So let's enable that. Allow USB debugging. Okay. Then we enable OEM unlocking. OEM unlocking. Start from the top. The stop, stay awake, enable Bluetooth. Oh, oh, here we go. It's at the top. Enable OEM unlocking. So let's enable that. It needs my code again. I do have a code on here or a pin. Uh, loud enable unlocking. Enable. So we have that. So we're following this right here. If the option is grayed out with bootloader is already unlocked or is already toggled on, then skip this step. If you are unable to, if you are unable to enable the option and true the device is connected to the internet, or follow this instruction. So we're gonna go ahead and close this because we already have it. Plug your device; it's already plugged in. So what's next? Uh, add new device. Okay, Cyber Seven. It's right here. In that yep so let's connect <clears throat> all right and now we have 
allow USB debugging the computer RSA key fingerprint blah 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 I will is allowed from this computer so we'll just say allowed just looking at that allowed so we have cyber 7 unsupported the select device is unsupported more details try resolving the issue or select another device device is not supported for flashing try signing in it is factory enabled to find any factory image for cyber 7 um, okay so what does that mean uh, this is unsupported charge on issue so how do we do this more you can flash a new version of Android to this device is dragon H key 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 pixel preparing your device enable the well I am locking Connect your device, open flash Android, yeah, allow the flash tool to communicate. Uh, uh, device, so this is the device, select uh, connect, always allow this computer, select connected device. Search and select your desired build from the list. You can also select options such as wiping the device or force flashing or partitions, click install to start part of this device, reboots and starts fast boot mode after flash completes appear, disconnect the device from the USB cable so I'm not able to do that because it's not supported so I have to try um, something else I don't know what I'm going to try. I mean, I can wipe it, lock it, flash it, enable to find factory images for Cyber 7. Let's try a different one. No popular builds. Um, so I got nothing on here. I'm just going to stop right here because I'm going to look for something else. And keep this video short for now, at least for the first try. Well, I can't say I didn't try, so there you go.